everyone, it's Heidi with Soundtown Canine Massage, and this is my fuzzy little assistant Higgins. Today we're going to demonstrate one of my favorite techniques, compression. Nowadays we're doing a lot more walking. When we go for our walks in the morning, we see so many people walking their dogs. More walks means the muscles are getting used more. Compression helps your dog's sore, overused muscles to recover. Um, it's like when you go to the gym for the first time in a long time and the next day you wake up a little achy. Same thing for dogs. So when you compress a muscle, you're, you're spreading the muscle fibers and then more blood and oxygen can kind of flow into that area which helps with recovery. So okay, let's get started. <laughs> uh, I usually like to work from the top down. Uh, if your dog is a little excited, you can try some of the calming techniques from, from our first video. Uh, Higgins actually just went to the dog park, so he's, he's pretty pooped out and very cooperative. So we're going to work on some of the muscles, that, like we're going to start on the forelegs and the, one of the larger groups, the triceps and the biceps. Uh, dog's anatomy is very similar to humans, uh, so where your triceps are on you right here, on a dog, they're right here. So what you're going to do is support the muscle with one hand, flat hand on top, and you're going to slowly compress. And then you release there. And you release. And some dogs like constant pumping compression and other dogs just like a nice mild holding compression. Good job. Okay and now we're going to move to the front where the bicep is on a human right here on Higgins. Once again support with the muscle underneath. Unless you have a smaller dog you might be able to just do it with one hand. Uh, Higgins is a big boy so he he gets two hands. We compress and release. That's one. Compress. 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 Compress and release. And keep an eye on your dog. Um, if there's some place that he's really kind of sore, he'll he's gonna let you know. Compress and release. Good boy. Great. And now we're going to continue down the leg with a nice pumping compression. Uh, take care to not press on the actual joints, just the muscles. Um, I'm sitting on this side so I can demonstrate and you can see what I'm doing. So I end up having to reach a little bit farther. But there's muscles you can feel on each side. You can do a nice pumping. My hands are going like this. I do compress. Get down here, maybe a nice mild hold. Okay, and you smooth it out there. All right, and we're going to start working our way down the torso. And uh, we could do a little work on the torso with flat hands right here. A little lean into it and compress. Relax. Compress, relax, one more time, compress, and relax, good boy. Okay, we're going to do the hind legs, and just like on a human, we're going to start quads and hamstrings. Here's Higgins quads, support from underneath, flat hand on top, compress, Press and release. I have some, depending on the dog's age and mobility, some of my older clients have tighter muscles in certain areas, like the older ones, the quads are super tight, but then the hamstrings, not so much. Okay, we'll go to the hamstrings. Compress, release, compress, 
compress and compress, release. And then once again, we're going to do the same thing with the, oh, you're stretching, good. Pumping compression, you go over the joint, don't touch, don't press on the joint. So I'm pressing more on the behind right now until we get just past the knee. And we work our way down. You can stop in one area if it feels a little tighter. And keep on going. And now I can't start to reach again. And when you get to the toes, hold, hang on to the paw a little bit, a little compression. And if your dog allows this, you can even do individual toes. A little compress, release, compress, compress, release. And do that on each individual toe. Good job. And then you're ready to put him on his other side and do it all over again. Uh, when you start out, I would say, you know, maybe your dog will let you do it for about five minutes. And then you can maybe build into, you know, up to seven, up to ten. And when you're all done, just kind of give them a nice little smooth out with a little effleurage stroke. And then you're done and you give them a little love. Mwah. <laughs> and then we wake up. Well, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Happy walking.